got three totally different photovoltaic styles on the boat. We've got the bow system, which is glass. We've got the wing, which is the flexible. And we've got the target tail, which is another design which we're testing. Basically, this is a test bed for different panels. This is a new set of solar panels which we've just put on. These are very lightweight glass panels, very highly efficient. Having solar, the solar is only there for an amount of time. You've got to actually store it because the boat gets parked up for a period of time. So you actually need to take advantage of the fact that the boat's sitting there all day and then you pick it up at five o'clock in the afternoon and you take all that power. So we can go down here, but just don't go too near the batteries. The key to the batteries is storing all the energy from the solar during the day. So you can use it during the night or providing a buffer when you're actually out to sea. We've got two tonnes of batteries. We store one tonne of batteries on each side. These batteries are particularly good. They're marine rated batteries. They can get a very high charge rate and very high discharge rate and they'll tolerate an amount of that. These are sealed lead acid batteries. Have you considered lithium? It's not safe enough and reliable enough and we're going for reliability. Is it running? Uh, it should be. Similar to a hybrid car, we've got the ability to monitor everything on board. Uh, we monitor probably or display much more than a standard hybrid car because servicing has to be done by many more people. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the motor running? Not like a diesel where you've got to go and check no, it and do all these I mean, things. Yeah? No, no noise. Yeah. You have noise here. There's no noise. The engine is on, right? The engine's on, yeah. So, well, you can notice it. This times when being quiet is, is a good thing. It's like if you've got passengers sitting down to a dinner, but the last thing you want to do is talking over an engine. Or if you've got people watching whales, they don't want to be talking over, over an engine and smelling the smell of a diesel running at the back. We certainly do cruises and you've got dinners or speeches happening. Basically the boat's running silent. Here you've got an example of diesel belching oh, yeah. out straight away. Yeah. Uh, this is the electric motor, straight out, direct drive, virtually no noise here. The electric motor is a modified industrial motor and it's been used in industry for many years, almost a hundred years. Oh, one of the key things with the boat is reliability. Over the last several years we've not missed a cruise due to the, due to the technical equipment. We have missed a cruise due to um, the main diesel generator being faulty. Can you run the boat on an everyday basis if you want, with the sun that you get? With this boat we've got a backup generator so the boat's always able to run. During the day if there's good sunshine we can operate virtually all day at five or six knots. If we need to run at high speed we start up our generator, run the generator. But the key thing with the boat is reliability so if one thing goes wrong then there's a backup and often on top of the backup there's another backup. In fact, these, these solar panels work as, uh, as uh, solar wings. These are aerofoils, and as an aerofoil, you can actually head at quite an angle into the wind and still get lift, which is pulling the boat forward. If the winds are favourable, the wings would go up and feather and take some of that energy burden. The ship would go the, the most efficient way of, as possible, you're saying? Yeah. As you move through different speeds, the control system would do a lot of those decisions for the captain. We've got quite complex control algorithms to ensure that the wings are turned towards the wind and to take advantage of it. Then there's the toss-up between using wind or solar. The control system has got rules built into it and it can um, switch between one and the other. And because we've got two sides, we sometimes put one side on solar and the other side on wind. You think this solar technology is a selling point for the boat? If you consider the number of definite interests we're getting, people are basically taking much more interest in it's going to be an exponential type thing. 